Hey folks, Eric with Perry Hill Farms, and it's been a while since I've been on a video because I've been busy and uh, been busy working. Yeah, a lot of hours at work, and then spending every waking moment out here to the point that I want to cry. <laughs> <laughs> but um. I was just going to do a quick video to catch you up to speed. I haven't been able to do a lot of video. A lot of the stuff I've been having to do by myself or uh, Glenn has come and helped me with some with wiring stuff. Thank you, Uncle Glenn. Thank you, Uncle Glenn. It's been a it's just been a slow, tedious go wiring everything. Um, but I'm going to I'm going to give you a run through of what we have done now and what we're about to get uh, accomplished. The last okay. video you guys saw, we were putting walls up, and we had as far as the framing goes, and the rafters up. Yeah, we did the rafter video, um, and started with some of the wiring. I think uh, was the last video, but anyways, uh, let me catch up to speed on where we're at now. All right. Okay, so <clears throat> the top of the ceiling you can see has got spray foam. So we've got spray foam in, got that done. You can see droplets all over some of the rafters, but the, the entire top around the cap is spray foam. We went ahead and spray foam this wall, which we have not boarded. It's an exterior wall. And we may end up doing something exterior to those poles, but it will be on the exterior of the pole, not inside like we did over here, since this is just garage area. Um, right, but the spray foam. <laughs> the, the spray foam is in. So that's gonna be one layer of insulation. We are going to insulate the top with some roll insulation and we're gonna mm -hmm. insulate the walls. And so mm -hmm. um, the other thing that, that, that we have done is uh, air conditioning is set to come. I had to restructure this box and rebuild it. Uh, uh, Dennis, who's doing our air conditioning work, had told me the dimensions, I built it and I built it I, I didn't build it quite right, so he told me, he said, you really need the box on on top and the uh, the vent underneath. What, that, what I mean by that, this is where the air is gonna draw and we're gonna change the filters out right here. Yeah. And he needed the unit above it. They'll cut a hole through it to pull that uh, air through. But they've got everything they need for the air conditioning. They came and in you look and did and the work. The duct work. And, and, Luckily, they did that all that for me, so that was that was a blessing and, and with the air conditioning yeah. work. But in the wiring, I'll start over here. We left this switch off the wall. We've got all of them labeled and switches ready to go. Uh, we've got every switch and every light plug in the place ready. Um, exterior wise, I'll show you that real quick. We, we have the fans up, we have the lights up, we have the floodlights hooked up. We've got all that done. All this is wired, ready to go. Exterior plugs down here. Mm -hmm. I've got them already faced out because they're, they're ready to go. And, um, and so, you know, this is what the front's gonna look like. Um, mm -hmm. uh, and so we just gotta get, get power to it. Um, and that's that's what what we have been working on. So coming back inside, um, we've got to get the hot water heater hooked up, which I've got wire there for that. So that's the next thing I need to purchase and get set up. Uh, plumber's supposed to be coming to do his part. That was something we paid to have done was the plumbing. So he's going to come do the plumbing part. I'll show you a, a treat that we got for the back porch here in just a minute. But this has been my headache for the oh, last. The cabinets came oh, yeah, in. And our cabinets are in. Uh, that's a whole nother project when I have to hang those. But that's gotta come after we get the sheetrock put in. Mm -hmm. But here has been my headache. <laughs> We've been doing the electrical panel wiring. And um, Glenn has helped me tremendously with this, learning, you know, that, that, this aspect of that. This part was the part that 
that about killed me. Look at his busted knuckles. <laughs> oh yeah, I've got I've got band aids and busted stuff. But this stuff in this sleeve, four alt is that what it's called? It's, yeah, it's four, three four alts and the two alt that I could not bend. Originally, we were planning to come in over here under the box and then come around and turn. I had to keep the wires in the sleeve going through the wood. At least that's what they've told me I, I, I really need to do, not have it like this. I could not get it to turn. I tried for probably three hours um, on two different occasions, hour and a half each. Worked up a pure sweat in 35 degree weather out here trying to get this done. So I had to make an adjustment. And what we had to do was come out the side, make a hole in the tin, use a junction uh, or a conduit box so that I could get the wire through here. And actually what I found out is I can, if I have the wire in a conduit box, I can cut that sleeve off and have in the four individual wires. And then I can run the four individual wires that way. So I could bend one wire at a time and get them in the box. Mm -hmm. And so, so how that works is, well, I have this panel on right now. I can't, I can't take it off, but these come in. Now they're on resting against a conduit and then they're, they're hooked into a uh, panel out here. And of course, uh, we're running the stove and the air off the outside panel. And we're going to run everything else off the inside panel. There's the weather head. He hung. This was another job that took me a couple <laughs> days yeah. because I had to figure it out. And because this tin here is ridged and comes off, this panel didn't mount flat against the wall. Well, I'll guess what? So all these panels are made to be flat. And these flanges are built to be flat and hold it off the wall that far. Well, my problem was I had this in the way. So I had to find a way to, to, to get the gap. Can you see that? And the only, only thing we could think of um, was washers. And we, we built the gap with the same amount of washers to hold all it straight up. up and down all the way up. And on the inside, I had to mount it to something solid. And since it was just 10 there, I had to put two by sixes up all the way up to the rafter. And so basically in these little things, I'm able to run those two by sixes and I had to beat them in and then drill a hole through the tin with a lag bolt to lag the board to the tin and then build stack stackers so I could secure that to the metal beams, which gives us the support to hold the weather head up. If it goes, the whole building goes. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just, it's just, now I know why they pay electricians several thousand dollars to wire something. I promise you, I will never complain about that again. Um, <laughs> and granted, you know, I'm learning this and I know that they're quicker at it. They know how to do it, but uh, the electrician friend I know says it will make you want to say some bad words. Um, but anyways, so that's, we had to get that weather head up and have that wire hanging out for the electrician, ele electrician, uh, the electric company come out. They'll hook the wall, that there. They'll take these wires, hook into this junction box. And, and they we'll, did we'll come last power. week. And if you recognize, they got us a new power pole up with a transformer on it. So they took the old power, the pole away, put the new one up with a transformer. So our electricity should run better. In the house. It has been very, very, very uh, much not a, a pull when our air conditioner comes on. But so we ran that in through here, this conduit. And uh, actually, I need to tighten that up a little bit. Um, and this runs through this conduit, hooked it to the panel, um, breakers off. All these are off because once we get power, we'll turn on that main breaker check the first three wires that we have for the stove and the two wires for the air and make sure that we have power, that everything's running okay. We'll flip this on 
and then we'll start testing one breaker at a time. One breaker at a time. We've got them labeled and we'll test it and make sure we have power. And each one will come on, making sure it's working properly. And then we'll turn off anything that's not hooked up, bare wire or whatever. Um, and then we'll be able to put our panel on and I'll be able to start hanging sheetrock and putting in the cam lights that we need in the top. Okay, but this has been a project. I'm not gonna lie. I, I, the other day when I was struggling with this, I, I almost broke down. I was like, I'm about to cry because I can't get this figured out. <laughs> Poor baby. And, um, but we endeavored to persevere and um, you know, basically got it. And so I'm, I'm praying this. Look, I got my note up there it says, Lord, give us power in the name of Jesus. Yes, I looked at, I looked at that many times, and I was like, please, Lord, help me not say any bad words and get this done. But anyways, so we're about complete, completely done with this part, and um, it's going to be hooking up the hot water heater, starting with this uh, sheetrock in the roof so I can put can lights in because I want to be able to have lights. So that when we start sheetrocking the walls, if we're doing that in the evening times at five o'clock, when everybody's off work, we can see. We can, you know, maybe do that, or hopefully do it in the weekend. Um, so, all right. So back here uh, on the back porch, we got all the ceiling fans hooked up, just like on the front porch. Um, we have the lights hooked up, and down here we have. Eric's little treat. Hopefully, for the farm, we always complain we don't we don't have a great sink outside to wash vegetables. Uh, sometimes if we clean fish or, or whatever it is, we don't have a, a good sink. Um, well, we found one, and me and Eric drove to Camilla, Georgia, um, to get the sink. We found it. And the guy had a price on it. We offered him some lower. He countered, and we decided to take it. And so, um, hopefully, I've just got to get some fittings for it. And they're going to plumb it, and we're going to have you know hot water. It's hopefully. three sinks. Move the uh, yeah. move the. I got that up there dry, so you can pull it off. So, guys, look at this thing. Is this not awesome? It's three. It, it is three sinks, and. Um, you know, we're going to plumb it uh, so it, it drains into our, our you know, plump uh, drain inside the wall there. Uh, they'll bring us some hot water out here so we can have cold and hot water. And then I'm hoping to, to uh, you know, put a spray nozzle thing here. And I don't know if I'm going to use one like they do in a kitchen or if I just, you know, mount something with two spray hoses that, that are small that we can just spray with. But, um, but anyways, it does have a hanging rack. It, you know, obviously for a restaurant or something, you can hang pots or something on there. And there's a shelf on top. So if we want to put like clean and nice stuff that we would keep all the time out here that stays dry. And uh, we've got a little work due to it. I mean, it's used, but uh, we're going to try to straighten the legs out a little bit. I need to add one here. And me and Eric uh, messed with it a little bit yesterday. And, kind of tried to level the leg so it was more stable and it's a lot better and uh, mm -hmm. but yeah that that's the kind of sink that if you want to put a bunch of vegetables in and wash them or potatoes or uh, whatever it is tomatoes i'm telling you, you can, what you can yeah. put them in there and and um, golly and and wash it up we're mm -hmm. just going to have to clean it real good mm -hmm. so that hopefully that's a good treat for the farm and uh you know if we want to take care of some business out here we can so hopefully uh, be a blessing yeah but that's where we are now I, I know I'm so sorry I haven't been able to get a lot of video of this stuff y'all but um, I'm, I'm it, I, if I would knew what I was doing um, <laughs> I would I'd probably be able to set up the video better but half the time I was learning by trial and error um, you know making mistakes here making mistakes there and trying to correct them but uh, Next thing we got, the septic tank's due to come. They're probably gonna come do that after Christmas. Um, and I told them we didn't need it in before Christmas, but they'll run the lines out there. We'll have the septic tank. 
and hopefully y'all will be hanging sheetrock in a week or so. I hope so. Two weeks. One thing that we do have a little issue with uh, that they're they're coming to check for us, and I'll show you that real quick. But after we got it spray foamed, um, we had a torrential downpour, probably four or five inches of rain, and we noticed some water on the floor. We thought it might have come from under the because it was close to the end of the building. But then the second time it rained, it was about three inches and it was a smaller amount of water. And I, I didn't noticed, see it there. I noticed I could not see water uh, on this part near the wall. It was just right here. So I said, okay, it's not coming from under the wall. So I looked up and I could see, you can't, I don't know if you can see it in there, but I drew a black mark on the white foam and I could see moisture. Mm -hmm. And so we had a, a, a little leak there. They came back um, and supposedly, uh, you know, they checked it and either tightened up a screw or two um, to make sure it doesn't leak. So we got to check that again. It's supposed to rain tomorrow and the next and day. Over, uh, and over on top of the... Uh... We noticed on the main ridge line, the main ridge line. Well, another puddle was in, over yeah. the top of the breaker box. Right, close to that breaker box. There was a smaller one. But along this main ridge line, we noticed a few small spots that were, you know, half dollar size moisture, meaning there was some kind of moisture when we had heavy rains coming from that main ridge cap. So they're coming to check that as well to try to just see if they need to tighten some screws or whatever it is. But I told them I really needed that checked because I didn't, I don't want to start doing sheetrock if there's a leak. Uh, and, um, and so, that's one of the, the worries I have right now. The, the other leak spot was somewhere about right here. You can almost see, it's hard to see, but there's a little discoloration maybe on that. May, that's probably just the lighting, but it was coming from right in here. And all of it, besides that one spot, seemed to be coming from the main ridge cap. He thought the wind may be blowing water up under it, but we had another small light rain and there were still a few small spots of moisture so I told him, I don't think it's the wind. So he's coming to check that. And once that gets checked, um, we'll see tomorrow. The next two days, we're going to have some rain. I'll try to get some video of that if, if, if we are leaking still. But um, just hang with us. Keep with us watching mm -hmm. as, as we start with the other projects. Because, um, you know, hopefully we'll have uh, a little more hands-on, several more people hands-on with the sheetrock and putting everything up. Um, cause that's more than just a me man job or, or a two man job. It's going to be several of us involved with that. Uh, but that's what I've been doing and, uh, I'm ready for us to get this done. Oh, and I, I, I oh, I, you did. I have hung the lights in here. Mm -hmm. There's two lights hung in here and mm -hmm. we'll see if that's going to be enough light. If not, I can, I can do a splitter jumper and put another light in if I have to. Mm -hmm. So. That's where we're at, y'all, and I, I know uh, I know I hadn't had a lot of video of it, but I wanted to give you an update and just let you know how it's going. So, um, one step closer. Yes. And uh, it is Christmas week coming up. Tomorrow uh, is Christmas Eve, and so no worky out here tomorrow. We're going to go spend some time with family, go to church, spend some time with family, and uh, relax. And um, so God bless you. Merry Christmas. Keep watching, like, and subscribe. Mm -hmm. And I promise you we'll be getting some video of this next phase. All right. God bless. Mm -hmm.